Hello everyone, good day. Welcome to my vlog. I am Ira Mabon Hostro from BIT 2J, major in food and service management. I am here to teach you or to help you know different kinds of coffee tools and equipments and its substitutes. Hello everyone, today's video or today's vlog is I'm going to share you things that will help you make your own coffee at home since it's pandemic and we can go far places to taste different kinds of coffee why not make our own coffee at home and we all know that coffee tools and equipments are really expensive i'm going to help you find things that can be substitute for those tools and equipments so let's first start with the first coffee tool that we can have at home so the first tool is the bar spoon a spoon used for measuring ingredients especially coffee grounds also used for stirring so a bar spoon we can have or we can use measuring spoon for measuring our coffee grounds and for stirring naman we can use um chopsticks or anything that is long enough for you to stir your own coffee the second tool is the milk frother it is used of course to froth milk so um we all know that froth milk froth milk frother is really um an expensive equipment so the tool that i am thinking to be its substitute is the wire whisk so with we can whisk our own coffee and trust me it will froth um the third one is the jigger jigger is a small tool that is used to measure the proper amount of ingredients specific specifically in our glass sheet so jigger not all of us know jigger jigger is a tool used for measuring um for measuring liquid ingredients and it is in a R glass shape we can use shot glass if we think or if we, we are going to measure same amount of ingredients the fourth one is the coffee timer it is used to achieve the right brew of your coffee or the right brew time the perfect substitute for it is our own phone timer we can use our own phone timer to make sure that our brew time is perfect the fifth one is the box, knock box used to collect spent coffee for easy disposal so if wala naman tayong machine na merong knock box kung gusto natin mata, ma, maitabi yung yung gamit ng coffee grounds we can use tupperware for its easy disposal next is the tamper a tamper is a handheld tool that is used to compress ground espresso beans it ensures that the grounds are packed so tamper is one of the important thing that we should have because it, it it can make our coffee delicious for its right measurement so for the substitute of tamper we can use dessert spoon kasi di ba yung dessert spoon maliit lang siya and mag makakasya siya sa lagayan ng coffee grounds at matatamp mo siya so dessert spoon is a way to go so the, the next is a cleaning brush for coffee grinder a coffee a tool that is used to brush away these or those are wanted leftover grounds from the grinder so kung wala tayong cleaning brush we can use our unused makeup brush so kung meron kayong extra makeup brush pwede natin siyang gamitin panlinis the next thing is cleaning brush as well but for espresso machine it is brush designed for safe use so uh, hindi ako naglagay ng sub substitute dito kasi itong brush na to is used for safe use ginagamit siya para sa kaligtasan so mas maganda kung bumili talaga tayo ng espresso machine brush so the next thing is the cinnamon shaker it is a tool that has a unique design the lid doesn't get stuck shut and it is also very easy to repel and use 
kung wala tayong cinnamon sugar, um, pwede natin gamitin yung salt and pepper shaker. Lalo na kung meron talaga tayong cinnamon sa bahay at may extra naman tayong salt and pepper shaker, pwede natin gamitin yung salt and pepper shaker. The next thing is the blue pitcher. It is a shatterproof and the handle will protect your fingers from the heat. So, blue pitcher, specifically para lang siyang stainless na pitchel. So, pwede natin gamitin kung meron tayong stainless pitcher sa bahay. Pwede yon And pwede rin naman ang kettle. Next thing is the thumping pad. It is a strong rubber that is an ideal ideal place to house the espresso coffee thumper. So, wala din ako nilagay dito na substitute kasi kailangan, para sa akin, kailangan talaga natin bumili ng thumping pad kasi para may lagayan talaga siya eh. Ito yung meron yung specifically na specific na lagayan sa coffee machine. So, the next thing is the ice tong. Ice tong is used to transfer ice and it is designed to handle cubes of ice one at a time. So, ice tong. Ito yung medyo maliit. Mas maliit siya kaysa sa ordinary tong. Kung wala tayong medyo maliit na tong, we can use our our ordinary tong at home. The next one is the bar or the ice scoop. Ice scoop is used to transfer ice from the container to another. Used for scooping ice. Ice scoop. Kung wala tayong ice scoop sa bahay and well, hindi naman tayo nasa coffee shop, pwede na natin gamitin yung soup ladle. Kasi, di ba, ice scoop, para ang purpose lang naman ng ice scoop is para mas mabilis tayo makapaglagay or makapag-transfer ng ice. And soup ladle is also good for that kasi medyo malalim yung soup ladle. So, soup ladle is a way to go. Then, the next thing is a bar tray. A bar tray is a round tray for for carrying equipments and glasses in the bar. So, kung, kung meron kayong bar sa bahay, kung meron kayong mini bar, so dapat meron kayong bar chase. Pero kung wala naman kayong bar chase, pwede, pwede tayo gumamit ng mga ordinary tray lang. Kahit na anong tray sa bahay, pwede na kahit hindi bilhin. The next thing is the shot glass. It is a very similar to shoot, shooter glass. Used to measure used to measure out the amount of alcohol to be used. So, ang shot glass din pala, hindi lang siya ginagamit sa pang-inom, pero ginagamit din siya sa pag-measure ng um, liquid ingredients, especially ng amount of alcohol. So, shot glass, for sure, meron mer tayong mga shot glass sa bahay. So, gamitin natin yung shot glass sa bahay. The next thing is the milk and coffee thermometer. It is used to read temperature in both degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. Wala akong nilagay na substitute sa milk and coffee thermometer kasi para sa akin kailangan natin talagang mag-invest na bumili ng milk and coffee thermometer if we really want to make the right temperature for our coffee. The next thing is the ice bucket. Ice bucket is a container which holds ice cubes. So, ang pwede natin i-substitute sa ice bucket is the large mixing bowls or anything na malalim. Basta pwede siyang mapaglagyan ng ice cubes. The next thing is the latte cup with saucer. A little smaller than the standard latte cup and perfect for drinking coffee. So, kung wala tayong medyo maliit na cup or latte cup, pwede tayong gumamit ng ordinary cup and saucer. Pero kung meron naman tayong mali, mas maliit, mas okay siya. Pero kung yun nga, kung wala talagang medyo maliit, pwede na yung cup and saucer. Kasi tayo lang naman yung iinom. The next thing is tips, teaspoon. Teaspoon is used typically for adding sugar and stirring hot drinks. So, kung wala tayong teaspoon, for sure may kutsara tayo sa bahay. Pwede natin gamitin ng kutsara. The next thing is the demetas spoon. Smaller than teaspoon, used for spooning cappuccino frat. So, ang demitas spoon pala is, is smaller than the teaspoon. So, kung wala tayong demitas spoon at wala din tayong teaspoon, kutsara na lang gamitin natin. Panghalo lang din naman 
at pang panglagay lang din naman ng sugar. So, gamitin natin yung spoon. The next thing is the cocktail shaker. Cocktail shaker is used to shake beverage that allows quicker cooling. So, kung wala tayong cocktail shaker, pwede tayong gumamit ng stainless tumbler. Since ang purpose lang naman ng cocktail shaker is para mas mabilis na, ma na mapalamig yung inumin, pwede tayong gumamit ng stainless tumbler or any, any tumbler na nakakapagpalamig or nakaka-secure ng cooling um, sensation ng isang kape or isang inumin. So, the next thing is the drip kettle. Drip kettle is a device which water is boiled. So, drip kettle, um, pwede tayo gumamit ng ordinary kettle kung wala tayong drip, ke drip kettle talaga. Pwede, pwede na ang kettle or ordinary kettle or takure sa bahay natin. The next thing is the plastic squeezer. A small kitchen utensil designed to extract juice. So, kung wala tayong plastic squeezer, pwede tayo gumamit na stainless squeezer or kung wala talaga, pwede natin gamitin yung sarili nating mga kamay sa pag-squeeze or pag-extract ng juice sa isang prutas or sa kung ano man. Then, the, the the next thing is the water pitcher. It is a container for holding and pouring liquids. So, water pitcher, pitchel. Kung wala tayong pitchel, um, siguro anything na makakapag-hold ng water. For sure naman may mga pitchel kayo sa bahay. So, gamitin natin yung pitchel natin. The next thing is the liquid measuring cup. It is used to measure the volume of liquids. Um, Sinasuggest ko kung wala tayong um, liquid measuring cup at kailangan talaga natin mag-measure kung same amount lang naman lahat ng i-measure natin, pwede tayo gumamit ng cup natin sa bahay, ordinary cup. Pero kung iba-iba talaga yung measurement na kailangan natin gamitin, kailangan talaga natin mag-invest I suggest na mag-invest tayo sa measuring cup at bumili tayo ng measuring cup. The last thing is the sugar syrup. Sugar syrup is a thick condiments consisting water and sugar. Sugar syrup, pwede tayo makabili ng sugar syrup sa mga, sa mga grocery. Pero kung hindi tayo agad-agad makakalabas at kailangan natin ng na sugar syrup sa, sa bahay agad-agad, pwede naman tayo gumawa kasi ang in Ingredients na lang naman is sugar and water. So, ayun lang po. Those are the things that I can share to you guys for to be able to make your own coffee at home. And I am sharing to you this substitute because I know that it will help you to start your own um, coffee experience. Bye guys, I hope you learned something from me.